Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today, guys, is going to be a very busy day as usual. Loads going on. Um, they even got Nigel. Nigel um, is picking up his Mercedes today. He's flying back to Gatwick and getting a, 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 a taxi straight from the airport to here. And then he's going to drive his car back to Wolverhampton. So, yeah, we'll be seeing Nigel a little bit later. Um, I've also got uh, Tom's, remember Tom with the blue car? Uh, his dad has bought his car in, which is the white Fiesta. We've seen it before on the channel. So we're going to have a look at that because the engine management light is on on that car. He's a driving instructor and he just can't have those kind of lights on when he's doing the lessons and tests and stuff. Um, it's got to be a reliable car. Uh, I don't think, yeah, something, something to do with... Um, uh, it's a it's a foul if, if there's an engine management light on, or even on the car. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to ask him. But yeah, there is some uh, there is some rules and regulations about that. So that car is in as well. Plus, we're going to continue with the EcoSport, which is outside. I'm also trying to find and bid on a car for another subscriber today. Yep. So John has got in contact, wants me to find a car for him. I think I found the right one. It's just whether or not we can win it for the right price. Just loads and loads of bits and pieces going on. Plus, I've got to get the um, the black Ka um, uh, over back back over to the paint shop today because he couldn't take it yesterday. Oh, so much going on, guys. Anyway, let's get cracking. Let's do this. Right, okay, guys. So this is Tom's dad's car. Um, it's a '68 plate Mark Eight uh, Fiesta Vignali. Vignali. Beginning. <clears throat> However you pronounce that. <laughs> it's a nice car, actually, but he's having some problems with it. Um, Vignali, that's what it's called, Vignali. Um, <clears throat> it's not been, he thought, I've got to be honest, they thought that it was going to be, you know, he'll get this nice car with low mileage. I think he got it at 40,000 miles. I think it's done 70 odd now. So within about 15 months. So he is racking the miles up, but it should be a little bit more reliable than what it actually is. But it's a nice spec car. It's got everything in it. It's fully loaded. Um, but the engine management light is up and he's already been over to me once and we've cleared the codes. Um, but it's, it, it lasted about a day and then it's come back. So... It's a diesel. Let's turn that off. It's a it's a diesel TDCI, um, but you can see we've got an engine management light there, and yeah, we're going to plug the computer in. I've already scanned it, but we're going to I'm going to make sure that we you know I absolutely 100% know what the code is. I'm going to go to Google, going to go YouTube, going to try and work it out, and we might have to change some sensors. We might have to do. Um, a DPF uh, regeneration because it's a diesel. It's a diesel car. Um, not quite sure, you know, what is going on, but we're going to get into it and find out, and hopefully we can get this car back to him because, yeah, he needs to have this car back for doing his lesson, driving lessons, and I think he's even got a test tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> it's just one of them things, isn't it? But yeah, this is a. Uh, it's a nice spec car. It's a nice. It's got full lever. It's got the cameras. You know, it is fully loaded. It's, it's all there. Heated seats, heated steering wheel. Um, yeah, it's just a nice little car. So let me set up the um, scan tool. I'll come back to you in a second. I'll scan it and then I'll show you what's coming up. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Right, okay. So I've scanned the car. It's all plugged in over here. Let me show you what's coming up. Hopefully you can see that well. Um, yeah, so that one, the bottom one, number three, audio control module, that always comes up with this car. I've scanned this car a few times now, and it always does that. Um, so I'm not quite sure what that's all about. But these other ones we need to look at. Let's have a look at the braking system first one. Yeah, 
Yes. Yes. Yes, I have. It is on. What did you come about? Yes, I know it's doing the test. Brake pedal switch. Brake pedal switch. Hmm. That's actually like the. Huh. <clears throat> Dave actually has taken his car back on to warrant on off of like because he's got a warranty with it. He's taken it back a few times now and they've done all the repairs to it. Um it's just really strange. I don't think that that's anything to do with um why the engine management light is up. I think it's this one here. So we'll go into this one and have a look at see what this says. I think this one's got more of the problems. So the computer's activating certain things on the car. Come on. Hmm. It's taken a while. Um, <laughs> let me come back to you guys. It's taken a while. This could be here for a little while. Right. Okay, guys. So, yeah, this is the scan. Um, I've scanned it, and these are the codes that are coming up. Now, it's all related to that there particular matter sensor temperature circuit range. Um, it says lost communication with it because I disconnected it to see. I wanted to see if it was the it was the right one. I think we've managed to sort source it and find out what the problem is. Now we're a little bit more forward than earlier. I've took it on the ramp, took it up in the air, um, and I've looked under the car to see if I can find exactly what this guy is talking about on YouTube. Basically, he's got exactly the same problem here. Yeah, I'll show you in a minute when I connect the scanner up. It relates to a sensor on the exhaust system. Now, from what I've worked out, from 65 plate to 68 plate, all the sensors on the DPF, the temperature sensors and the lambda sensors and all that, they're all the same. Apart from, there's one that's halfway down the exhaust system after the DPF and all that, it's sort of like in the middle of the car where it's situated on the exhaust system. From 65 to 17 plates, this was just like a temperature probe. On the 68 plates, they changed them. They've done away with this temperature probe and they've put more like a lambda sensor looking sensor in the exhaust. And it's also got a control module on it, which is in this box. I'll show you that in a minute. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the car in, read the fault code, then I'm going to rip it off the car and fit this new one and hope it fixes it. But I'm going to have to wait a few weeks because the light doesn't come straight back on again. Anyway, let's get this lambda sensor ripped off the car first. So that's exactly what Dave was saying. It doesn't, because I've cleared this code already for him. Uh, this is a 68 plate as well, don't forget. This is exactly what he's saying. Um, I've already cleared the code and then two days uh, goes by and it comes back up. So this kind of makes sense, really. The code makes sense. What he's saying makes sense. Um, you know, he scanned the car as well. He's got exactly the same problem. This is actually a taxi as well. Thousand miles on the clock, but this light's been coming on for a long time, and we just keep clearing it. And not talk like a few days later, it come back on again. So it's going to be P two four seven or something when it loads it up. Yep. P247C-00 
Particular matter sensor temperature circuit range performance pinned in DTC warning. Exactly what we've got, guys. Exactly what we've got here. So yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, this does it. On. So this is the code I keep getting. It's all on these 68 plate Mondeos. All the earlier ones, I don't get this code. So I'm gonna change a sensor, which I think is the problem. So basically, he changes, he changes it. He's, he's pulled it out and he's, he swapped it over for a new one, uh, direct from Ford's. Um, so that's exactly what I did. I'm hoping that this is going to solve it. It does seem like it's pointing in that, that direction. Basically, the sensor was connected to that exhaust bit there, and it ran along there, down there, on these wire clips, up there, and connected to that there. That's it. That's basically. All, all it was. Um, so, like I said, to you, Dave, the owner, uh, is in is in the blue car, Tom's car. <laughs> He's driving around in that. He's whipped over to Ford's uh, main dealer quickly, see if he can get the part. If, if, if we don't know yet, I don't even know if it's on order, if it's on back order, if it's a couple of days, have they got it in stock? I don't know nothing about that yet. So, waiting to hear from Dave. Um, but in the meantime, guys. All we can do is hang on and wait. I'll come back to you and give you an update very soon. So, yeah, bear with me, and I'll see you in a bit. Right, okay, guys. So, quick update. Um, just spoke to Dave on the phone. He has got to go to another full dealer because they didn't have the part. Um, and then he'll be going to get it, bring it back here. We can put this back together, and hopefully that'll be it. Job done. Um, it's solved. Um, pfft, Ridiculous price for that part, I've got to be honest. Ridiculous. £450, including the VAT, for that, for that sensor. Wow. <clears throat> I was not expecting that. I know it's got like a module box, box to it, but Christ. They obviously know it's, a, it's an issue with the problem, whatever, and they've just... Yeah, the price is ridiculous. Anyway, it's got to get done. Dave's going to go and get, get the part. He's going to come back here. We're going to get it sorted out. In the meantime, I am going to crack on with the eco sport out here um don't want to do too much out here i've got to be honest because it's raining <laughs> and i'm not used to working out in the rain anymore so what i might do is whip that door off uh take it inside swap over all the bits and pieces we need to the wiring loom the door handle the, the, the wing uh the, the wing mirror sorry um any other bits and pieces that i need off of it to go onto the other door swap that over uh, and we could so we could do that inside um it's not raining that bad i've got to be honest a little bit of a little bit of uh um yeah a little bit of light rain anyway just quickly i have ordered some bits from main dealer in the end i had to because the body shop come over and some and some and said, and said to me yeah yeah that that's all right we we can repair that but we can't repair this 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 end piece and basically, there's a couple of welds on there and then a couple of welds up here that holds it together on this, this actual inner wing. Um, now, he said to me, you know, he can't repair that, obviously. Look at the state of it. So, I said, okay, um, let me see if I can find one. Try to find everywhere. Can't get them. Uh, can't even get it off. Of, no one's breaking any closer to me that I can take it off of or whatever. So, I went to the main dealer and... Yeah, the main dealer's like, nah, you, <laughs> you, we, we ain't going to be able to get that. Ain't, we don't sell that separately. It's part of the inner wing. So I've ordered another inner, complete inner wing from main dealer, um, and that should be in in a couple of days. So I've got the main in the, out, the inner wing here, that, that whole section there from the main dealer. I've got this tank here because that pipe is smashed off the bottom. So we need to replace that tank. We need to replace the brake line as well, because you can see it's all smashed off there. So we need to replace this brake line. And we need to replace this. There's a corner, actually, there's actually a corner bracket that sits like this. <laughs> and this is what it is. It's just mangled. Again, main dealer. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I've got. That, brake line, this inner wing, um, and that tank. So those four bits, believe it or not, 
including VAT, 140 quid, which is incredible. Like I just, could, I just couldn't believe it when he said it. I was like, Gee, yeah, where do, where do I pay? <laughs> I just bite his hand off, like, <laughs> yeah, incredible. But yeah, we have got some bits coming. Um, they're on their way. I've started to get some bits all um, sort of delivered as well. Got some airbags delivered. I'll show you those. So there's one. There's the curtain airbag. There's one of the seat belts. Just waiting for the other one to turn up. So just got one more seat belt, and then all the seat belts can be done. Yeah, got the door. Got a drive shaft in colour. A little bit expensive, I've got to be honest, but it is what it is. I think I paid. Uh, 220 for the door so at least we haven't got to get it painted that's one good thing um and the drive shaft that was 140 140 140 from galas you know galas and, and, and benfleet over in essex um yeah i got them from there just easier it's only around the corner for me so perfect so what else oh i've got a um a strut as well suspension strut leg um i've got a, another hub coming because i don't want to use i don't really want to use the other one i've got to be honest you just never know so yeah that's our original one there um <laughs> do, do you know what it don't look that bad got <laughs> but it's just not worth taking the chance it really ain't you can imagine doing all that work and then the wheel would be out of line <laughs> Yeah, it ain't worth taking a chance. So yeah, I am getting some bits and pieces, guys. We are I'm building up the parts. I have got a bumper. It got delivered yesterday. I couldn't put it in the truck. It's at home. So I'll be putting that, bringing that over tomorrow. Um, but yeah, getting there when it comes to parts. So I think what I'll do now, sorry. <laughs> That was a loud one. Um, what I'll do now is I'll get, I'll set you up. Let's get the door off, bring the door in. We'll start swapping all these parts over um, and then replace this door and see if those hinges um, need sorting out or replacing because they still might need to be replaced. We don't know yet. So yeah, I'll set you up. Let's get cracking. Let's do this. Right, okay guys, so we've done a bit there. Um, took the door off, started stripping to get to the seat belt, uh, like that. I took the seat out as well, just makes it easier. Makes a good old clean. Don't know what's going on over here, so I've got to sort that out and put all that back together. It looks like it's popped up or something, so I'm gonna, and look how filthy it is as well. So I might just whip it off, whip it out, get it out of the way. I've got to get to the airbag ECU as well, which is underneath there. So I'll probably just take that plastic off strip it all down give it a clean still got to get to this airbag as well so it's good just to get it all stripped down and out of the way so yeah but um dave has now come back with his part for his car so we can continue and we'll do these doors stripping those doors we'll, we'll swapping those bits and pieces over in a minute so yeah you have to go to main dealer um bloody expensive this part really really expensive crazy um anyway it, it, it's all pointing to this 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 thing is so it's all pointing that way I've, we've seen you know we've done plenty of research we've, we've done looked at youtube videos we've looked on google we're searching we're searching we're searching and hopefully this is actually going to do it because this was not cheap <coughs> i'll keep saying um anyway it's up there look that's the new one and then the wire goes along there up against that over that and then plugs in up into there so yeah i'll crack on get this done um and then hopefully 
Dave can have his car back and we we can be all sorted. But um, we'll, we won't know him until he starts driving it about. So, yeah, I'll do this, guys, and I'll come back to you in a bit. Right, okay, so, guys, I've scanned the car again. I've cleared all the coats. We've got no engine management on. And there's no codes on the computer. But that doesn't mean to say it's fixed. Trust me, because we've done this already. He's been over here last week. We cleared the codes. He went away, drove it for two days, and it happened again. I really hope for him that this has solved the problem and he hasn't got to throw any more money at this because that was an expensive part to get. Um, but all, everything, all the all the stuff that we was hearing, seeing, watching, it all it all points to that actual sensor and, and like module box that's connected in one. So yeah, like I said, I really hope guys that that has solved it for him. So um, I'll take it outside. He's gonna come and collect it in about an hour. Tom's gonna bring him back. <laughs> in the blue one and then they're going to go away he's going to drive it around hopefully he can then drive it tomorrow in his lesson and fingers crossed for him I really am fingers crossed for him that he ain't going to get any issues with his car um, but yeah that's it let's crack on let's swap the doors over now um, on the Eco Sport let's crack on with that and then yeah just see how far we get today but already uh yeah already i'm already tired <laughs> interested let's do this guys
Right, okay guys, that is the door on, but we have got a little bit of color shade difference there. I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but it's not quite the same. So I think the painter's gonna have to go across the door as well. Yeah, I'm just trying looking around the car to see, you know, if there's anything, what kind of shade it is and stuff like that. It's a little bit tricky to see at the minute. This door's a little bit different to that one. It's really strange. Even this door is a little bit different to this door. This white is terrible, isn't it? Let's try and match. Um, it's definitely slightly different, you know. But, um, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be... A, one of those ones, one of those white cars where you're not going to be able to match the, the shade. Um, but I think it's worth just painting that door, definitely. It's, it's definitely slightly different, different odd, different off. Um, so, yeah. Right. Well, at least it's on. I'm going to leave the wing mirror as well. Leave that off so the painter can go through. Um... Let's carry on for the minute. Let's get the other seat out, I think. Shuts well. Um, I'll get the other seat out because I haven't got this seat belt. I've got the passenger seat belt, so we can start working on that. So let's start stripping that out. I'll set you up. Let's do this. Right, okay guys, what a monster of a day. <laughs> so much has happened today, it's unbelievable. So yeah, um, you just see me go, go through all this guys. Um, got the airbag module off, that's gonna be sent away um, and reset and then put back in. So yeah, I don't really try and, you know, I might have a look to see if, if I can find one, the, the right numbers, but normally, it's not worth it, you know. I will have a look to see if the numbers... Um, it's just hard to find those numbers, you know. Anyway, <clears throat> that size done. Seat belt sorted out. Uh, we've removed the airbag. The curtain airbag. That's all been removed. Um, so that's done. Just got to put the other one back in place, which is there. Um, and then we can sort of rebuild that. Can't... Actually, I can't put this all back together too, until we've got this, this airbag. It ain't turned up yet for some reason. Don't know why. But, uh, yeah. Um, absolute crazy day. I have managed to win 
a car for another one of my subscribers. Um, John, I mentioned it before, but John um, has been messaging me um, about finding him a car. Um, I've managed to do that now, and it was one in uh, today's auction. So I'll be going picking it up soon, and we're going to crack on with another one of my subscribers' cars. Um, yeah, Nigel's been here as well with his wife. And um, he's drove away in the Mercedes, the blue GLA. That's all done. He's drove away in that. Absolutely loves it. And, uh, yeah, well, it is a, is a lovely car. It's a really, really nice um, car. It worked out really well. So, yeah, absolute loads done today, guys. Plus, as well, we've done Dave's Fiesta. Hopefully, he ain't going to have any issues with that one as well, <clears throat> with that sensor. Fingers crossed about that. But yeah, just an absolute crazy day. But got loads done. Um, so yeah, well happy with the progress on uh, what we've done today. <sighs> just need to keep going. Um, definitely door is a shade off. Definitely. It's not, um, it's not a million miles out, but it is a shade off and I'm not happy with it. So uh, we will definitely be doing uh, a little bit of painting on this door. Don't get me wrong, I'll try and clean the doors. I'll try and buff this side up, see if I can make it a bit closer to this. But I just don't think I'm going to. I really don't think I'm going to get that up. Um, it's, I, it's, it is coming out on camera, hopefully, anyway. You can see it, you know, especially across that middle part here. You can see that, you know, how different that shade is. So, yeah, anyway, it is what it is. It's got to be done. I'm not going to leave it. <clears throat> I have got to go and pick up some parts from Ford's main dealer today as well. Uh, they've just messaged me um, by, e uh, by text message and said the, all the parts are in. The bracket, the inner wing, the pipe, and the tank. It's all in, ready for me to go and pick it up. So I'll do that this afternoon. And then tomorrow, we should have loads to crack on with um, on this one. Um, still got loads to do when it comes to the drive shafts. On the other side, we've still got to do that. Um, so, yeah, we've still got loads of bits and pieces that we can just crack on with this one. Right. Okay, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me, uh, what I'm doing inside and outside at the minute as well. These are the EcoSport seats. So they'll stay out until, you know... I've done all the airbags, we've done all that sort of side of it, and then they can go back in. I'll clean all the carpets, then they can go back in. So yeah, there is a process of uh, putting things back. Like I said, I've got the drive shaft here, so we could do that to... No. Do we want to do it tomorrow? No, I don't think we do. Unless we get the hub, then we will. If not, I'm going to leave the drive shaft and we'll crack on with other bits and pieces tomorrow on the EcoSport. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.